Is it safe to assume in tonight's game, again, you're a Michigan man. Would you consider yourself a Michigan man outside of a UCLA? I'm, I'm, I'm the son of a Michigan man. Okay. So I don't know. So you're kind of. Okay. I mean, I grew up with the maize and blue, and okay. I know you have a background there. And I do. I went to school there. So are you, do you have a rooting interest in tonight's game? Sure. I'd love to see Michigan win, but I, I, I think I think being there is is a great honor, and, and that doesn't – Okay. It's not that's not too great for the team that comes in second place. Sure. But, is that your way of saying I did Villanova, some of that in my life? Villanova fans watch NCIS too? Is that that's another way of saying uh, it? No, I I'm not even talking like that. I just <laughs> I I, I kind of like the underdog a little bit. And so um, you are also the voice, uh, the narrator of the new season of All or Nothing on the Michigan Wolverines. Friday, April sixth is when it starts uh, streaming exclusively on uh, Amazon uh, mm -hmm. Prime Video. Um, what was your what's your memory of the Big House? Any good memories from the from the big house i was there i the was there when they uh they honored my dad uh and my wife is from michigan so the first time she had ever been to the big house was that night and we were down the field they were playing notre dame um quite an event spectacular to be on the field for that night mm -hmm. so um i i had been there before but but that night was really special then probably because it was about my dad more than it was about me yeah first heisman trophy winner in the history of michigan yeah did you ever meet Bo Schembechler? I did. He recruited me. Hold on a second. Bo Schembechler recruits the son of Tom Harmon, and the son of Tom Harmon goes to UCLA. Right. I mean, walk me through that, Mark. I was I was looking for an opportunity to play, you know, and uh, and and an opportunity to study what I wanted to study, and and uh, I think for me the fit was probably better at UCLA. My yeah. dad, my dad stayed totally out of it. He did. Yeah, totally. Um, when you told him I don't want to go to Michigan, I no, I didn't say that. I just said, <laughs> I, I, I just said, I just said, yeah. I think I, I almost went to Oklahoma, and then and then ended up going to UCLA, and and I think for me, for a lot of different reasons, and certainly some of those reasons were twenty years down the line. I knew nothing about that at the time, but I, for me, it was the right place. So Switzer almost got you. Was it Barry yeah. Switzer? It was it Chuck Fairbanks, and Switzer was the offensive coordinator. Yeah. Okay. So why'd you? almost go to Oklahoma instead. What was uh, that about? They, they, you know, Jack Milner was running, running the wishbone and like every other kid, I grew up watching him and and I knew I was going to be running a triple option offense if I was going to be playing quarterback. So uh, to be hmm. recruited by them at that time and certainly meet Jack and have him be your host for a couple of days in Norman, that was pretty daunting. <laughs> <laughs> I would yeah. say. And yeah. Switzer, was he... Crazy is like a fox at the time, too, or what? Certainly crazy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like I him, that. though. I do like him. Okay. And then it's interesting because Aikman had a year in Oklahoma yeah. before he went to yep. UCLA. Yep. Do you have a relationship with Troy? I, I've met him. Uh, it's funny because we all did a photo once. A bunch of UCLA quarterbacks, like over a 20-year span, all came for a photograph yeah. opportunity. And there were a bunch of, you know, basically six-foot, six-foot-one guys. Mm -hmm. And then there was Troy, who looks like, a defensive end. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's big, he's tall, strong. So uh, obviously a drop back pro style versus the option guys that, mm -hmm. that I was part of. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.